Hello Thank you so and much, welcome Anne. to the Business Spotlight interview series. And I'm your host, Anu Khanna. And today I'm joined by Haninder Sachdeva, who's founder and managing director at Eight Continents Hotel and Resorts. Haninder, you have a flagship of hotels in Europe, five hotels in UK, opening in London, in Romania, in India, Tanzania. Thank you so much for joining us. Would you like to kick us off with a brief background as to who you are and what you do? Sure. Thanks, Sandu. Thanks for inviting me for the interview, first of all. And 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 welcome to all the audience, your audience, in terms of uh, who's listening to us today or will be listening to us later on. Um, just to give, uh, I think Anu has already briefed about myself. I am running a company called Eight Continent Hotels and Resorts. We are managing uh, the hotels not only in the UK but Africa, India, and US. Um, I am I am a seasoned hotelier with twenty six years experience in hotels. Uh, with senior level uh, director and vice president level. Uh, prior to, after completing my my job stint, I opened this company to uh, to just, it's a passion driven, to be honest, being a hotelier, once a hotelier, always be a hotelier. So I wanted to just, you know, be in the same trade I have always worked for and have a formal education. Uh, you know, I did my hotel management from the University of West London. Uh, so I started this company back in 2020 uh, during the COVID period, and 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 the idea was to be an asset light company uh, and and manage the hotels across the globe with the Eight Continents brand. Wow, amazing! So not that old, really. Three years. Three years, yes, and we managed to have about 14 hotels all over all over the world now, and of course the we have few nine or ten hotels in pipeline as we speak. Wow, that is significant growth and quite fast pace. What would you attribute your growth to? Um, I think the uh, mostly the, the reputation uh, while working for many various brands, not only in the UK, also in India and Africa, and, and your, 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 your career path, uh, of course, then you make a lot of networks during your working. In, in, when you're at a job, you, you do meet a lot of people who, who feel and you can connect them when you start your own business. I think I'm a great believer in networking and making sure, you know, you, you, you know, okay, the business is in one sense, but sometimes you just help people for their, you know, what knowledge you have. Sometimes you may have a charge for that, but, you know, I think by and large, it's all about networking, to be honest. Fantastic. Really, really well done. You know, I was looking into your website and it says there eight continent hotels and resorts is a borderless hotel management company supported by a world-class digital infrastructure. Would you like to share uh, more about that? Yeah, sure. I mean, we are working with the US-based company called Hotel Key. Uh, they, they, you know, I mean, if you look at the, you know, the hotel management softwares are very, very expensive when you take a license. The, the brands like Hilton, Marriott, and IHE, they're using uh, Fidelios and Operas and on They are very, very heavy on, on a license fee. We developed uh, a, a software in conjunction with Hotel Key, which is a which is very, very low key and gives the same uh, setup or same services what a, a other brand or other big a hotel company will, but we also integrated AI in our our PMS system, which was I don't think any of the hotel company is using right now. They may be using the tools, but not the AI integration. So this is what we have introduced in our PMS system. It's very smart. It's very, uh, it looks at the occupancy level. I mean, everybody talks about it, but I think the functionality of it, I have come across not a single software who does that uh, the way we do it. It, it, it has advanced revenue management system. You don't need a physical person to change the rate. Like, for example, your inventory is 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 100 rooms and 90 rooms are gone. The Automatically, the, the, the rules apply on the system. It, it jacks up your rate to the level we want because it's occupancy-based, uh, the software. And it also looks at your 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 rates on on the on the other comp set what they are selling at, and then based on the comp set it will automatically change the rate. So no human intervention to in revenue management. It is very much automated, and we have been running for the last twelve months, and we have very few hiccups uh, on 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 the rates. I think by and large is doing really well. But now we are also 
putting some more plugins in 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 terms of the making the packages for for our guests so they can actually ask the question and we can suggest them where they should travel uh, in 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 conjunction with ai wow so it is really a truly world class digital organization it is. We're trying to be uh, cutting edge uh, and then we want to go out of the market. So, of course, we're trialing it in within our own company, hotels. And once we are fully comfort comfortable and confident, we may roll this out to other hotels as well. Truly impressive. Thank you. There are a lot of business owners listening to you. So from a business point of view, what would you say are some common misconceptions about running a business and how do you deal with them? Uh, misconception, um, uh, you know, I'm a, I'm a very new entrepreneur, although I've been running other people's businesses, but I'm a very new entrepreneur. All I can say is when you do your own business, you know, it comes with uh, a lot of, you know, uh, teething problems to begin with in terms mm -hmm. of your, your starting up. And, and, you know, and, and of course, uh, the major thing is we started, I mean, I can give you my case study. We started this business with a zero investment. Uh, how we started was all in the website and and few hotel management contracts. And we developed after mm -hmm. that. You know, we got one contract, some income came in, and then we started developing our, our resources. So I think starting business for money, when you put an investment, is easy. Starting business with no money is most mm -hmm. thing. And then going to a positive EBITDA is 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 another challenge so i think it's it's you got to be patient uh, you know and you got to believe in yourself you got to be uh, you know you have to believe sorry i'm going to let me put it off so it doesn't disturb that's me. okay that's the nature of business yeah so so the the um, I, I think what what we did was i mean you know when when i was i was patient enough to you know we started in 2020 the whole world was on a standstill uh, you know there was no uh, especially the hospitality was a hard hit you know we we had to just take it and and that gave me an opportunity you know be honest i was blessed to have covid in a way that i had developed the all the sops the framework for our business, which I would have to hire somebody else to do it in, in the later stage if you were in with no COVID. But the eight, nine months gave us to design all the SOPs. I started working on a team development. So I said, okay, we need a people to work. So I was scouting for people and during that period. And it was a good opportunity for me because a lot of people were laid off and mm -hmm. they were looking for jobs. And I could get a better deal out of them in terms of the salaries because, you know, when the down period also helped and how you make that opportunity. So I think when you're doing a business, you've got to look at the opportunities around you. You've got to be patient and you've got to have a vision to where you, you want to go. And sometimes it may take longer, uh, you know, but you got to take a risk. Yes. Uh, you know, yeah. there's a quote that says, never waste a good crisis. <laughs> Yes. So you made true. the most of the situation and truly a self-made man. You started from scratch within three years. You've got international chain of hotels. Yes. Thank you so much. And that's what we, I, I always tell you, you know, I'm a, I'm a very backseat person. When I, my leadership style is I put my pe team people in front and help them support them. I am not looking for a limelight. I'm, I'm just want to build this company, you know, mm. sitting behind and making sure the team is doing the effort and they get the credit of their efforts. Okay, maybe some, some, some part of work, maybe I'm doing it, but I give my team credit because at the end of the day, they are the face of the company. Yes, and that's truly sustainable. Yes, yes. absolutely. Yeah. Very good. So three years. During COVID, fast-paced growth, international chain of hotels, there must have been some challenges on the way. What would you say are your current or the challenges that you have overcome? Uh, the first challenge was the convincing somebody to give you a hotel to manage it. You know, you're not a Hilton, you're not a Marriott, you're not a big brand. And somebody you're going, okay, you may have experience with running the hotels for somebody else. And you said, okay, I'm going to manage your hotel. You give me your 15 million asset to manage it. So, so I think this is the biggest challenge I had to face. I remember my first meeting back in India because I, uh, my first bigger hotel I signed in India was in Jaipur, and and the owner was putting it almost, uh, almost. 45 million pounds on the investment and going to him and saying that give me your hotel I will manage it it was mm -hmm. one of the the task and he drilled me whole day asking me the questions 
wanted to check who I was and he did my background check and all those things. And he said no to me. He said, no, we will not give you the hotel. We'll go over a bigger brand like Taj or Hilton or Marriott or whatever mm. it was. So, and and we, we, we parked it there and I came back to UK, uh, you know, said, okay, but it didn't work out. Then I, uh, this, this was 2021, early 2021, because just came out of the COVID and I was, you know, pushing it, uh, you know, because people like to meet you one-to-one -one and they don't want to discuss on Zoom call, especially they want to see who you are. And then I came back because I, I was honest to him and I told him, this is what we are. And I, this is going to be my first hotel in India, if you're interested. Mm -hmm. He liked my confidence. After one year, he came back to us. We signed that hotel. Now we are... If you look at my website, this yes. is a single hotel with Nas Jaipur coming up. Yes. Yes, really well done. You know, in fact, I've stayed at one of your hotels in the one in Sariska, the Thai All right. club. All right. Okay. That's very nice. That's How was the experience? A very good experience. Yes. Yeah. Uh, I don't know if you had taken over that hotel at that time or not. We uh, have. No, but... I know. We took it in 2021. I don't know. When did you stay? Yes, yeah, some years back. Uh, yeah, some years back. Okay. Yeah, we took in 2021. Yes, yes. Oh, that's great. Lovely. Yeah, no, fantastic. So really good service. And I can uh, recommend all the listeners to go onto your website and really check them out and book them, really. <laughs> Thank you so much. Really appreciate that. Thank you. Okay, fantastic. So... You know, you are quite a busy man and thank you for your time. So how do you balance everything? You know, fast paced growth, you got number of employees. How do you balance your personal life with the demands of running a business? Uh, my my wife also supports me in in admin side of the business. So Richard is is is, is she she supports me. So we have divided. Of course, I have I can't do everything by myself. So I have developed a team around me who mm. does you know the things which takes my because I can't do physically everything by myself. So I have put them into a lot of training programs because I came from a very solid Hilton and IHE mm. back. So the focus of Hilton is all about trainings. Mm. If you train your people well, I'm sure they will, you know, they, they, they perform better. So my focus is always the first thing I did was I took the same training platform what Hilton uses, which is the learning platform. Because this way they have a basic foundation and they know what exactly needs to be done, especially the business model, because there's always some sort of a conflict in your opinions or you have, uh, you know, the, the 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 conflict management in terms of the managers or some other thing happens. So we have a 350 courses for the managers and for the junior staff, which they have to complete. So I get personally involved in when we hire a new staff. And depending on the job role, we assign them a training courses, which they have to mandatory clear before they come on the floor or before they start their job within 30 days. So we, I focus very much on the training part because that's where I think I'm able to manage because when they train, they know what exactly they're doing and then they're out on the market and, and help us grow the company. So I focus more on the growth side of the business rather than the operation side of the business. Really good. You know, because you don't grow business, you grow people who grow business. Absolutely. absolutely. And then you demonstrate big... that. Yeah. 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 Very good. So what qualities, what are you looking out for in your employees? When are you hiring them? How do you foster the positive and productive uh, work environment? I saw your list of values on your website. So how do you secure the living your values? Um, I I look for people, you know, the degrees, the college degrees doesn't matter to me at all. You know, it's all a foundation. I look at the attitude of the person who's willing to grow, willing to learn. That is a one major attitude. I mean, I have hired people who have no formal education towards hotel management, but they're yet working and doing fantastically well because they come from a, because one what, what they have is the the positive attitude to learn and develop. And that's what that's my main criteria. And they understand, you know, the, uh, you know, no company is perfect, but it's the people who makes it bit perfect. You know, the you know the, the bricks and mortar don't make the business. It's the people who makes the business. So I look at the I, I look at the those people that attribute. I get involved in every person we hired in the company. Uh, it's not because I, I'm a control freak on that, but it just that I want to make sure that people are right. Our at, because I work on an attrition rate. Our attrition rate, uh, you know, in the corporate office, is is from last two years is zero. So which is right. which is which I want to make sure that we hire right people, so not for sake of hiring or desperate, 
mm-hmm. you take a little bit of time and hire a right person for the right job. Well, the golden words have been spoken. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Exciting. Very good. So what does the future look like, Ananda? Uh, we we uh, we are looking because I, as I mentioned earlier at the beginning of my opening of my statement that we are an asset light company but however we want to go towards uh, building some assets of our own as well so that we're looking at especially in the UK market I think UK is purely purely asset based model asset light may not work but especially Africa and India asset light really works well I have a few examples with the companies that have grown with asset light but in the UK we are looking to grow some assets and buy some assets of our, our own um a, as a framework of our different brands we we have and then have about you know we we by 2020 2030 we want to have 100 hotels around the globe that's wow. what our vision is yeah wow amazing so the man with the vision who's making it happen it's been an absolute pleasure. Thank you so much for your time, Hananda. It was great Thank meeting you. you, learning more about your entrepreneurial journey. Thank you so and, much. Yeah, Eight Continents Hotels and Resorts uh, is what you guys want to Google and uh, book your next holiday with. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. And I really appreciate having me on, on, your, on your channel and on your audience as well who's listening to me today. But once again, really appreciate that. No, thank you very much. Thank you.